Having lived the minimalist lifestyle for years now, the way in which I pack for a trip has completely transformed the way that I travel. And as I'm about to leave for a 16 day long trip, I wanted to share my overall packing philosophy and exactly how I'm going to pack using just one carry-on. How I plan what to pack on a trip. So I created this little formula anytime I begin to plan on packing for a trip. And I call it www.c. Where are we going? What are we gonna be doing? Weather only using a carry-on. So I'm gonna be going to Denver, Colorado and staying at my uncle's house while he is actually out on vacation. What am I gonna be doing? Well, for the first five days, my girlfriend's actually gonna come with me. It's gonna be her birthday. So we're gonna be doing some birthday celebrations. But overall, the overall arching point of the trip is actually for me to do kind of like a think week. I'm going to be focusing a lot on reading, writing, and hiking and just kind of doing like an isolated silent time where it's just me recharging my battery. The gang's all here. Oh! What is the weather going to be like? Well, it's gonna be about low 30s to low 40s in the morning and the evening, and it's gonna be around high of 60 to 65. So it's overall gonna be beautiful weather. So how do I use everything that I just discussed and fit that into a carry-on. Well, that goes into my overall packing philosophy. With my packing philosophy, I prioritize the golden rule. What is the worst case scenario if I do not pack this item? And typically I can never find the worst case scenario actually being worth me bringing the item. Then I follow three very specific rules for myself that I never deviate from. And the first one is I have to be comfortable. I find that traveling in itself can be quite stressful, and so I wanna make sure that I am in the best opportunity to feel as comfortable as I can be. I personally like to travel just with a backpack, but if my backpack is too heavy or too cumbersome, I will have no problem just using a carry-on instead because again, I wanna feel as comfortable as I can be. The second one is simplicity. Whenever I get into the airport, I like to just kind of decompress from everything and just watch one of the movies that I downloaded on my phone. And I don't wanna to have to think about all of the things that kind of could go wrong. So I make sure that I have all of the very important things in my backpack or in my jacket or as close to me as possible. That way I don't have to worry about something happening to it. And then the last one is actually speed. If I ever am in a situation where I have a connecting flight or I need to catch an Uber or something like that, I wanna make sure that I'm in the best the best way possible to be able to get there as quick as I need to. This is a bit more specific, probably a little bit more overly cautious, but this is just the way that I follow it. So to summarize this, I try to make things just as minimally stressful as absolutely possible. The bag slash suitcase I'm using. Now this is a trip that I would love to just use my backpack for. However, since this trip is very much prioritizing reading, writing, and journaling, the books and the journal and my laptop that I'm bringing just felt too heavy and cumbersome in my backpack. So with that being said, I'm also just gonna be bringing a suitcase along for this trip. Now, the backpack I'm using is actually my girlfriend's backpack. The one that I had that was identical to this actually got stolen. This one is gonna be perfect because my uncle lives on the edge of a wildlife preserve. So I'm gonna be doing hours worth of hiking each and every day, and it'll allow me to be able to bring my laptop or my books or whatever it is that I wanna do at the little rest spots and also feel very comfortable doing so. The suitcase I'm using, I got from TJ Maxx. I think it was about like $40. It's a Penguin brand. It has a hard shell, which I really like. I'm super rough with this suitcase. It's a little bit smaller, which I really like, but I found that it's a lot of very beneficial compartments and little storage things inside of the suitcase. What I'm packing. To start off, I'm gonna have seven shirts in total. Three of them are going to be the Alo brand short sleeve shirts that you see in almost every single one of my videos. These are my absolute favorite shirts. The perfect thing for these is that they're extremely comfortable. They're also able to go out, I can be very active in them, and I can also dress it up. So it's gonna be perfect for whenever we do like the date night for her birthday. It's gonna be perfect for all of my hikes and also being very comfortable. I find that I can wear these shirts anywhere from two to three times before having to wash it. So I'm gonna be getting about six to nine uses just out of these three shirts. I'm gonna be packing three Howler Brothers shirts, which is a great Austin-based company. These are gonna be for kind of my evening wear as well as using them whenever my uh, Alo shirts are just unbearable. Then I'm going to be bringing two pairs of Lululemon ABC pants. 
One I'm going to be packing in the suitcase. The other one is actually going to be what I wear at the airport. These are perfect because I can go on walks with them if it is kind of chilly outside. I can also dress it up and if I like had to do a workout in them, I absolutely could. Now, ironically, I'm actually packing all of the pairs of shorts that I own. I'm packing four pairs of Lululemon shorts, and this is because I'm gonna be doing so much walking, especially in warmer weather. Now, I can typically get anywhere between three or four uses at a time out of these. I really am not concerned about it. I don't sweat a bunch, so this is gonna be absolutely perfect for how much I'm gonna be spending outside. And then a nice dress shirt that I can use to go outside and do walks in. I can also use it if I'm kind of doing like an outside workout or if I'm gonna dress it up to go on our little date. Of course, I'm gonna be packing enough pairs of underwear for everything I'm gonna be doing. And then I'm actually going to pack one extra pair of socks than I normally would. And you guys might be thinking, well, you're staying at your uncle's place. Aren't you gonna have a washing machine? Yes, but I don't want to count on that. I don't wanna to have to do a bunch of different loads. I don't wanna waste water. I'm really trying to plan as if I'm not gonna be spending any time washing my clothes, use any of his water until I actually come back to my own home. And for shoes, I'm actually gonna be wearing my Ultra Boost at the airport, so I'm not gonna be packing them. These are the ones that I'm gonna be doing all of my walking in. And then I'm gonna pack my Vans. These are the ones that I'm gonna be using when we go to museums and stuff like that. A little bit more lifestyle orientated. Now the tools that I'm bringing is really where the heart of this whole trip lies. And that is going to be The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. I'm also bringing The Creative Act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin, one of my absolutely favorite books. I'm bringing my journal, of course a pen to go along with that, my glasses, my laptop, charger cords, and my SD cards because I have a bunch of videos that I've already filmed that I'm gonna be editing while I'm there and it will be released while I'm gone. Then I'm gonna pack my Haller Brothers hat. And for my more personal accessories, well, of course, I'm bringing a toothbrush, toothpaste, my hair gel, deodorant, and then my leave-in conditioner. I don't actually have a small enough bottle at this moment to get through security. I'm gonna have to get one before I go, but this is the product that I use. It's just from Aveda. Of course, my water bottle, and then my uh, nose strips I use whenever I sleep. And that wraps up my overall packing philosophy and the way in which I'm going to pack for this trip. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope it provided some sort of value to you. I can't wait to share all the things that I'm going to be working on while I'm in Denver. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. And if you're going to be going on any trip soon, I hope that you have a wonderful time. Thank you so much as always. Have a great day. Bye-bye.